Good morning everyone, Scripsko here, and we're going to be doing another World of Tanks replay cast. Man, I love the soundtrack. Bum ba da bum, bum ba da bum, bum ba da bum, bum 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 bum. It sounds so rabic, so desert-like in its sense. I think it's a pretty cool soundtrack. Whether you agree with that, I don't know, but I like it. So, anyway guys, this is going to be the first uh, replay that I'm doing from the 7.4 patch. I have not really played this patch a whole, a whole lot. Uh, admittedly, I wasn't playing World of Tanks a whole lot for the last two weeks, but I've got into it uh, against yesterday and I've been playing a whole lot of games. So, uh, let me familiarize myself with all the new tanks that have been added, along with the new maps and the new changes and whatever else has been introduced in the 7.4 patch, along with the game modes, the two new game modes. In fact, that's going to be one of the themes I was thinking about in this video. Uh, what do you think about the new game modes, specifically Assault and Encounter? Do you believe that they are good? Uh, good additions to the game. Uh, there's actually been some polls released by World of Tanks War Gaming, and they're just checking what what do you guys prefer playing as? Of course, a lot of people prefer a standard battle. That's not uh, that's not a big shock or surprise. I imagine most people would actually still be quite conservative and prefer the original style of gameplay. Uh, the leading next one was Encounter, and the final one was Assault. Not many people seem to like Assault for some reason, uh, but I actually think I have to agree with that, and I'll get onto that in a little bit time. But anyway, let's focus on what we're going to be looking at today and specifically what we're looking at today is the IS-6, the new premium tank on Sand River. I like to look out for funny names in the beginning so you can see that was a shot right there. Let's look for some funny names. We've got Chawanga on his team, Live Wire Org, not really that funny. Uh, Doc Fast Death, Astro Man, nothing really great on his team. Check the other team, Payday, that is pretty cool, I like that, Payday. Sounds quite quite uh, action-like in its sense, but apart from that, we've only got Fear Side, and I don't really see anything great. So that is the funny names done with for now. Not really anything that great, but hopefully we'll still find some in the uh, in the future, in future episodes. But for this time, Payday seems to be the winner for creativity this time around. So anyway, guys, let's take a look at this IS-6. I don't really know a whole lot about it. I know it's a new premium tank, obviously a USSR tank as well, and... It's tier 8, so um, I imagine it's going to have good sloped armor, as you can probably tell from its uh, from just the tank itself. It looks quite low in terms of uh, its elevation as well, so maybe it's going to be quite good to be in a hull down position. Uh, quite difficult for other tanks to actually hit. And look at that sloped armor, especially the front. Look at that! Wow, that is a quite an angle indeed and pretty much all the way around. You can even notice that it's the same on the back side as well. And look at that! <laughs> just bouncing right off the KV-3 over there and the IS-6 just nailing that tank over there. The VK-3601H. Let's take a look at the fixed camera so we can see exactly what he's up to. He's trying to engage the KV-3 at the moment over here, but the KV-3 being a little bit smart and just taking some cover. Now, as I was saying in the beginning, this is the uh, new game mode. This is going to be uh, whew, Assault. I'm getting myself mixed up with Encounter and Assault. Encounter is the one where they have to meet at a single point to try and capture it, while Assault is you're trying to either defend or attack. And you can tell that he is the attacker team this time around. I'm not really sure what I think about Assault at the moment. It sounds like a cool idea, it's got a good concept behind it, but in terms of actual um, balance with maps, I don't know. I think there needs to be a lot of balance changes. Sand River, this seems okay, but I've played on this one map specifically today where it was horrendous. Prokhorovka, I love that map in standard battles because everyone starts on one side and uh, it's quite even the ways they, that they can approach. Notice how the gold ammo is being used at the moment on the T29. Grr, gold ammo, I don't like it! Gold ammo should not be in this game! But anyway, <laughs> if he wants to waste the money on gold ammo or whatever. But uh, as I was saying, with the Prokhorovka standard battle, absolutely fine. But encounter it's or in, with assault, it's absolutely horrendous because one team starts on one side of the rail tracks, the other on the other side, and if you have to attack, it's horrendous because you got this large hill, and anyone that goes over that hill is obviously going to be at a disadvantage. They're just going to be owned straight away as they come over that um, over that terrain, and it's not fair in my opinion, and it has to do with facts to imbalances in the maps, and that's what happens when you have all these new game modes and they demand uh, different changes in the uh, spawn points, but then again, maybe what they could do is just change the spawn points and it would make it more even, 
uh, instead of what happens with Prokhorovka. But anyway, that is a total different map. You guys maybe can't remember, I don't know. Uh, but go check it out. I'm sure you guys have played on it by now, and I don't really prefer it on uh, Assault. But anyway, so IS-6 taking on all these tanks and actually managing to penetrate through them, maybe due fact to his uh, gold ammo helping him a lot helping him quite a bit but he's run out of the shells now and so he's just working with his standard ammo really i'm gonna keep on hitting up this point i seriously seriously i'm a big opponent of uh, gold ammo i just do not think it should be in the game at all it's there's nothing balanced about it i mean yes it's costly but see if you're let's put this in in uh in into uh perspective see if you're just a really rich person you can afford gold ammo uh as much as you want say if somehow you're a millionaire and you're playing world of tanks all day you can buy all the gold ammo you want then i don't see the balance in it i mean imagine if all you're using is gold ammo and your opponent is using only standard ammo there is no balance and really war gaming doesn't have the uh the right to say that it's balanced i know they like to say oh but it's rare and so it's fine no it's not it destroys the balance that in the game that there currently is i mean all these tanks they fight with the same sort of ammo specifics uh by having gold ammo you just level the playing field where it shouldn't be possible and that's what kind of annoys me uh, quite a bit. I mean, you have weaker tanks on your team for a purpose. They're supposed to take on the weaker uh, tanks on the enemy team, and there's supposed to be that whole, um, you know, grand scale of the enemy tanks. If they're tier eights and you ha and every uh, the tier eight is the highest on the team, then they're supposed to be, you know, scary to take on the tier eights. I mean, what's the point of trying to out level it, right? But anyway, that's another rant for another day. Uh, we've got the IS-6 still engaging all these tanks. Notice how he is being flagged from a lot of sides now, from the back and from the front. So, not a good position to be in when all his tanks are locked in in this village. You gotta be a little bit glad, uh, look on the bright side of life, that at least they're in a village. So they got some sort of cover. Uh, but still, they could, they're being flanked from both directions here. KV-1 up there, obviously AFK because he hasn't moved at all. And that's why the IS-6 is not even bothering to shoot at him. But the T-150 up there is poking his head out every now and then. Try and just uh, get a shot out. But he knows if the IS-6 lands a shot even on his turret, uh, that could be the end of him. Uh, IS uh, KV-1 still AFK, not doing anything, and it's just such an easy target. You can tell the IS-6 is going to be going in for it. But notice all these shots of the IS-6 being so unlucky. I mean, he's locked down on these tanks. His reticle is homed in, zeroed in, and still he's missed quite a number of times, hasn't he? Not only is it frustrating to just watch, but I mean, it's really unlucky. There's nothing really more you can say about it. Uh, I'd like to say that it's game mechanics, and I do think it's the game mechanics, but I hear this conspiracy theories going about in World of Tanks. Apparently there's this one thread on the World of Tanks EU forum called Loaded Dice, apparently where some sort of conspiracy theories, I don't know if it's true or not, but people were saying that apparently from the beginning, uh, one side of teams gets some sort of advantage, like a buff of like 10% a better accuracy or something like that. And it's just to help balance out the entire game so that uh, people win matches and people don't win matches and so it just balances it out like that. Uh, whether that's true or not, I highly disbelieve it. I don't think a uh, conspiracy theory like that would be true. I just have a feeling that's more so due to awful teams. Whenever I lose, it's more so due to people just rushing out into the open, just in general being idiots, right? Um, and so I don't really believe it, but oh my god, IS-6 going down. Oh jeez, I wasn't expecting it to end that fast, but there we go, I was so lost in the conversation. So, so that is IS-6 going down, but man, he racked up 7 kills, getting a lot, a lot of uh, uh, kills there. A lot of damage dealt and actually earning 138,294 credits with 1,419 experience, lots. Let's head on over to the personal achievements, you can see that I destroyed that. Damage all those, detected the M6. Battle Heroes, obviously achieving the top gun for getting over 6 kills there. Well done to him for achieving that. Hope you guys enjoyed this replay, but a few messages before I finish this. Uh, a lot of you guys have sent in replays from the 7.3 patch. Obviously, I can't do them anymore. So, if you want to send the replays to me again, you can send them in at krebsco at hotmail.co.uk. I'll be looking for 7.4 pat patch replays. Just make sure that they're exceptional. 
Did you do really well? Did you get some achievements? Don't send in a replay where you get one kill at your first game ever in World of Tanks. I know it's great that you joined World of Tanks, but unfortunately, it's not going to be entertaining for the whole audience. My one final question is, what do you guys think about Assault and Encounter? Is it your... Do you think it's a good addition to the game? Do you prefer any of them? Do you prefer them over standard battles? Do you prefer standard battles over those new game modes? Leave a comment in the comment box below and maybe I'll actually say something in the next replay. So until then, I will catch you all later. Bye bye.